In this video, we're going to take a look at transform mode in Vectric software. So if we come over to the edit objects part of the design tab, you can click this option here for transform mode. And when I click that and come over to my vector, when I click it, I will be in transform mode. Alternatively, if we hit escape and click off of the vector, you can enter transform mode by clicking on the vector and then clicking on it again. And you'll notice my cursor has now changed to indicate that I'm in transform mode and I've got access to all the handles around this selected vector. So with these transform handles, what we can actually do is manipulate our vector. So you can see if I put my mouse pointer over one of the transform objects in the, or transform points in the top left, right, bottom left and bottom right, I can scale the object up and down depending on that corner and you'll see that the values change for the size of the object as I transform it. So you can see here we've got a field here and a field here for x and y and they change as I scale the object. So I can scale it from the corners, I can also scale it up and down as well as left to right so I can scale it in x and in y. Now you'll notice if I come up to the top right handle here, the transform handle, when I highlight it or click it, I can access these fields. Now I can scale these fields in proportion, so if I change one of them, it will affect the other. So for example, if I change this now to 2 and hit enter, you'll notice when I now click on that value, this has changed from 6 to 4. If I change this from 4 to 6 and hit enter, and I click that again, you'll notice this has now changed from 2 to 2.8032. So you can change and manipulate your shape using very precise values by using these fields. What if you only wanted to change it in X or Y? Well, you can click the transform handles that are black on the left, right, top or bottom of this object. And you'll notice now I only have access to the one field. So I can change that to three and you notice it gets a little bit wider. And if I click this one at the top here, I can try and make this a little bit taller in the Y axis when I hit eight. Now you'll notice my object has gone slightly off of the worksheet, so if I want to move it, I can just click onto the object and I can just drag it down. You'll notice my cursor changes to indicate that I can move it, so I can move it where I want to on my worksheet. Now you'll notice there's a handle at the top here, and this is for rotation. So I can either manually rotate this by clicking it and dragging it and moving it to where I want it to be, but I can also enter a value. So if I put that to zero for now, and then if I click that again, I can put it to 180 and you'll notice it rotates it 180 degrees. Now the point of rotation is actually this target here in the middle, which you can actually click and you can drag it. So if I move it over here, for example, and now I try to rotate, if I enter a value of 45, for example, you'll notice it's rotated it around that pivot point. So if I just control Z that, and now if I grab this rotation handle, I can show you how it is moving around where I've placed that pivot point. So if I want to put it back into the middle of my object, I can do so and place it there. Or I can alternatively move it to another place if I want to move it to a place where I'd like to rotate, for example, in here. And I can just rotate that around by grabbing this handle, and you'll notice it moves around now the bottom half of that object. And another thing you can do with transform mode is actually you, you can transform multiple objects. So if I hold shift and left mouse click this object, you'll notice I now get an object bounds box around both objects. So that means when I scale it, it scales both proportionally. And when I rotate it, it will rotate both. And it affects both of these objects now because I have a bound that encapsulates both of the objects that are selected on my worksheet. And again, you can click into the corners or left, top, middle and right, and you can adjust these values as needed to affect or transform your objects. And that covers our video on how to transform objects so you can rotate, scale and move your objects in Vectric software.